Today I'm at Hayfield Lakes near Doncaster. This is a home to some really big carp. Now, it might surprise you that I'm using our top of the range Acolyte Pro Pole to catch these fish. And I'm ultra confident in this pole that it will do anything I want to do on venues like this. I've recently been down to, to Belinji Lake down at Whiteacres and I didn't even take a carp type pole with me. I, the confidence in the Acolyte Pro is, is such that I'll use it for all types of carp fishing, even for real big fish. I mean, this pole's capable of landing fish up to 20 pound if you do the right things with it. The main thing that's different about our style of carp fishing now, you need a pole that will do everything. When I say everything, you need to fish often at 16 metres. Our pole is full length at 16 metres. It, it measures 16 metres, where a lot of our competitors are a lot shorter if you put them side by side. So this is important if you're fishing up to places with islands. I mean, I, I fish a lot through, at Lindholm Lakes and the islands through the years they've eroded away and a 16 metre pole takes you right up to them. Of course, if your pole's short, you're away from the catching area. So a 16 metre pole is, is a massive, massive advantage on these type of lakes. The other advantage with this pole, it's a different material to what the original Acolyte pole is. The Acolyte Pro is a new material and it allows you to fish in the intermediate sections without any possibilities of cracking them sections. With the Acolyte Pro, this material is much, much stronger in itself. So when you're fishing at four, five, six joints, those intermediate sections, fishing with pellets or meat, where you're having to lift very quickly on minute bites, the Acolyte Pro withstands that sort of pressure. You don't get any cracks on the intermediate sections, which is fantastic for me because, again, I don't have to carry a carp pole for fishing at that length. Now, you might think to yourself, well, what about when you're fishing down the margins, fishing for the real, real big munters that live in some of these lakes? Well, I can tell you, again, I've ult ult absolute confidence to use the Acolyte Pro even fishing in the margins and I had some fish up to 15 pound down at Whiteacres fishing down the margins and never never felt that the pole would break. The only time I'd want to use a carp type pole is when I'm fishing where there's stick ups or snags. When you're fishing in stick ups often you're using very heavy lines maybe 025 even up to 030 because you don't want to destroy the rig when you're fishing in these type of snags. And then a carp pole is, is probably a necessity because once you hook a fish, you've got to drag it out of them snags. So this is why I just carry this, this pole that the Acolyte Pro does everything I want it to do and more for fishing for carp on our commercial waters.